when I built my first little cabin, a young carpenter and I built it together so I'd have a place to work quietly and in silence. And I even got to write a book about it. A naturalist cabin constructing a dream with sketches from my land and all. And I decided that I would keep a cabin book there that I would write in almost every day when I was out there. So this is the cabin book, Journal of a Place Called Sanity. And it was. You can see the morning light is coming in my big French windows here. My comfortable chair by the window looking out over the walnut grove and some of our visitors. Another visitor, a neighbor's cat drinking out of the old wagon. This is the view from the outhouse. It was quite beautiful, actually, and still is. Morning tea, smoke from my own fire, comfortable slippers. As you can see, I balanced uh, writing and artwork. This is almost all ink and with just a little bit of colored pencil work. Visitors at the feeder, things that I collected as usual. And it was fun letting the uh, text go around, following the spider web here. My old jacket, our hanging rack with clothes, a cedar wax wing, that was exciting. My favorite trees. And here's the visiting kitty boy again. Again, following the shape of the uh, deer scapula that I found in the woods. My drum. More visitors, more books. This is the cabin from the woods. And my beloved wood stove. We've had a lot of lovely fires out in the uh, fire pit. I can cook on it too. And this is a trunk where we keep some of the wood and the charcoal and all. It's just been a beautiful exercise and I didn't feel comfortable unless I had actually done something in it.